Hello humans, this is Dr. Kai, and what do you think of my new microphone? Pretty good quality, isn't it? Listen. You can hear the creaking of my chair, you can hear the fans on my computer, listen. Shh, shh. Hear that? Anyway, hopefully you'll stop complaining about the poor quality of my microphone. Um, this video is an update video on my tool, Elite Dangerous Profiler. Since the last video there's been a lot of changes and I do recommend you watch the last video because it will show you how to base use it in basic ways as well as install it and all that. But in this video all I want to do is show you some of the changes that have been made. Um, the first change that I've put in is that when you're into tech current settings there never used to be a way to actually um, save it, overwrite a, another profile. So now when you click detect current settings this button changes to save to existing profile. You click that and let's see you pick the default 2D, the default VR or one of these, um, which are the two up there, and it will have all your ones in there. You can click close to cancel, and I just noticed that that's still popping up, even though nothing was saved, I should probably change that. Anyway, the other change I made is that we now have the ability to save custom files. Here you go. This is now a thing, so every single profile will have its own group of custom files, so the default VR profile has this one, streamer VR has this one, which is slightly different, and basically you can add and remove Remove that one for example, you click OK, it saves the changes. And now, so long as this is ticked, when you click apply, do you see that box? That means it's actually running that, which always brings up that box. You can add anything to that, it will open anything, it'll even open links and stuff, which so just you know don't go mad. But basically, um, you can now have things like uh, enabling track IR, um, disabling the ocular service if you're in 2D mode and it bothers you, switching your speakers, all kinds of things. You can even, in theory, put the launcher in there and stuff like that. But anyway, it's just a, a quick solution to a lot of problems that people are having. And my other favourite feature that I've added is the model draw distance is now unlockable. So normally it only goes up to one. That's half and that's one. That's just the way they programmed it. If you unlock it, you get to go all the way up to two. And that should really help with the model draw distance. It should eliminate pop-up quite significantly. Um, I might even put it up further than two, but that's how I'm playing with it right now. All you need to do is click the check for updates button and if there's an update it will check and install it very quickly or restart instantly. So yeah, update the latest version. Um, since the last video I've added loads of new profiles. I've actually removed some of these. These still exist for me but I have removed some of them if you download it afresh. Because uh, the main ones now are these NO2 ones. Um, they're all avatar friendly so I thought it's very useful to have them in there. Um, but obviously the best one is Dr. Kai Spiritual Teal. Um, since the last video I have reworked the control bindings, it now works very well um, and the name is the same as the name that's shown in the game rather than the file name which can sometimes be different. Change everything to sliders, including the gamma and the HUD brightness is now added since then. Everything works a lot better. If you're from a country that doesn't use commas and full stops in the same way for numbering then it will work perfectly. There were some bugs in that even then, it's all fixed. This is now easier to type, it's not going to give you four decimal places. If you've got a, a very low resolution that like you're playing on a TV or something, um, you can now do that. Only works from the bottom, okay, and the top obviously, but not the sides. Um, so that way you can still fit it on your screen and still access all the settings. That's the quickest solution I can come up with. People wanted me to actually redo the whole thing, but you know, you forget it. So yeah, if you are using this regularly, there are 10,000 of you. If every single one of you gave me literally one pound, I would be a really, really happy man. Obviously, I'm not asking everyone to donate, but if you are donating and you just want to give a pound, it really, really helps. This is takes up a lot of my time when I work on it, and I'm very proud of it, and it's very encouraging, and I'm never going to stop working on it for as long as I play Elite, which is probably going to be until Elite finally shuts down its servers in the year 3303 for real. As you may be aware, when the Guardians 2.2 came out, this basically broke because new options came, current options changed, for example, this the grades here changed. Um, and because I'm a beta tester, I made sure that this was fully up to date with the new options and the changes, so it was working 100% by the time the live version of 2.2 came out and I will always, to the best of my ability, do that with future updates and I've also updated the versioning of ED Profiler to coincide with the game's versioning just to make things a bit clearer and finally, as an address to the very small minority of very angry people who think that I should open source the code for this um, the answer is no and basically, it, I don't need to give a reason there's plenty of reasons why someone wouldn't want to open source their code not everything everyone does has to be a communal project um, and in this case I don't want it to be. If you are worried about viruses and you still don't trust me even though I have a lot of people who I'd let down by being untrustworthy, you can decompile my code. It is in vb.net. You're welcome to do it. I won't stop you.
but to everyone else who trusts me and who doesn't really care about these things, so long humans. To the heavens to see what secrets they hold. Join me as I sail amongst the stars.